హాయ్ గైస్ వెల్కమ్ టు మై ఛానల్ రాయ్ పార్టీ ట్యాబ్లో మై నేమ్ ఈస్ కల్పనా రాయ్ పార్టీ ఇన్ దిస్ వీడియో లెట్ అస్ సి హౌ వీ క్యాన్ అచీవ్ లాస్ట్ ఎన్ మంత్ సేల్ ఇన్ ట్యాబ్లో దెర్ ఆర్ డిఫరెంట్ వేస్ వేర్ వీ క్యాన్ డిఫైన్ దిస్ లాస్ట్ ఎన్ మంత్ సేల్స్ ఓకే ఐఎమ్ యూజింగ్ శాంపిల్ సూపర్ స్టోర్ డేటా అండ్ ఇన్ దిస్ వీ ఆర్ హ్యావింగ్ దిస్ ఆర్డర్ డేట్ డేట్ కాలమ్ రైట్ ఆన్ దిస్ ఐఎమ్ పర్ఫార్మింగ్ దట్ లాస్ట్ ఎన్ మంత్ సేల్స్ so my requirement is for example last 12 month sales last n month sales how we can bring that for that as you want at the month level here i am using this order date field and i am defining a custom date here how we can define a custom date right click on the order date and create custom date so here i am keeping this date value and here i am selecting months so here if you select date part you will get your discrete months and when you select date value you will you will get all the months that are available in your database so what is the difference between this date part and date value i'll make another video as of now let us stick to this point that just select date value and at the detail of months okay click on okay now as as i said you will get continuous months now i am converting this to discrete when you convert this to discrete when you drag this you will get all your 48 months see as we know sample superstore data is containing 4 years data that is why you are getting total 48 months here now we want last 12 months for example last 12 months later we will convert that to last 10 months first we will achieve last 12 months for that we are writing a simple calculation here what is that simple calculation is date diff i am giving the name as date diff here i am using a function date diff so at the so what is the syntax of date diff you are taking the difference between two dates so for that at which date level date part level you are looking at your difference of the dates so i am looking at month level comma what is your start date here i define this order date months right i am using this comma what is your end date from today so from today i want last 10 months sales even if, when you define this as today even if, when you are getting your data for the next month even this will be ap applicable and based on your months it will gives you the difference first you find out this so what is the difference you are getting i am clicking on apply now a date field is created here right a call a calculated field is created here now i am dragging this so by default i am converting this to bar chart guys just for the convenience i am keeping this calculation like this only or else let me click on okay so here as you are taking the difference uh, that is a numeric you are getting this aggregation now you don't want this you just want the difference that is why i am converting this to dimension and just make this as discrete now i'm bringing this to label now see what you have taken in this calculation here you have taken the calculation as date diff of at the month level from these months to today so when you have taken this from today what is the date difference between these months for example from this month january is the date difference is um, month difference of 8 months is there right that is why you are getting 8 9 10 like this as you are having 48 48 months data based on that you are getting all this numerics here now what you want last 12 months that is why again i am opening the same calculation here i am opening the same calculation what i am doing here is what you want less than 12 months last 12 months you want last 12 months that is why define it as less than or equal to 12 okay when i click on apply now see as you are defining a condition boolean condition it is giving true or false or else we will do one thing we will keep this calculation also i am copying this calculation i am clicking on okay now you got true or false right i am keeping this at this place true or, you are getting true or false now we will take date diff number now i am taking this calculation i want to show you the numbers here 
that is why I'm taking this and converting this to dimension and I'm converting this to discrete. Last 12 months means in our thought we, we want from September to this 12 months. Last 12 months means till September or October based on our condition you will get sim till September or October. Okay. Now when I am taking only true part of this. When I am apply applying the filter and I am taking true part of this. Now see here even even though we are in September, we are getting October, November, December also. Why we are getting what we have defined less than or equal to 12, right? Is minus 1 less than or equal to 12? Yes, right? Minus 2, minus 3 also. Why you are getting minus 1, minus 2, minus 3? When you are taking your date difference. So, from the month what you are having here, with, with today you have taken. As we are in September... So, this month will be the date difference between these two months, uh, these two dates will be minus 1 for October, minus 2 for November, minus 3 for December. So, you need to restrict these minus values also. Then how can we restrict that? We need to define a condition. What is that condition? And, not, not here, we have taken another calculation, calculator field, right? This true or false? Here, sorry. Here. Click on edit. Here we define less than or equal to 12. That is fine. And order date should be less than today. When you give this, click on apply. Now see, even those three values, October, November, December 2021 are gone from the view. Now you are getting last 12 months here. I am taking out this also. Even I am taking out this calculation. I am only keeping this in the filter shelf. Now I am bringing sales to the view. Now what you got? Last 12 months sales here. Okay. Now let us convert this to last n months. How can we convert this to last n months? Just define a parameter. I am taking parameter. I am giving the name as last n months. And just Take it as integer and keep the allowable values as all. Okay. And now, just go to this calculation. Date diff calculation is there, right? What we have kept in the filter shelf. And here, instead of this 12, just take out this last 12 months. Okay. Click on apply. Click on okay. Now, I am bringing this parameter to the view. Now, here, I am taking 12 months. But you are getting 13 here. Why you are getting 13 here? Only you need to get 12 months, right? But why you are getting 13 months? Here you have given equal to, right? Just take out that equal to last n months. Now see, you are getting last 12 months. Okay? This is one way. What is the second way here? You got this, right? What is the second way here? Let me show you the second way. Here we already defined this custom date, right? At month level, we define this custom date. I am bringing this to the view. Now I got all 48 months. Now here, I am defining a filter here. See, on the custom date, what you have taken, I am defining a filter here. On this, I am defining a filter. What is the filter? Before defining the filter, just select this use all. Go to condition tab. Here, I am giving the condition as order date months should be less than today. So, first, from this selection, what you have taken, what you have considered, these 48 values are there, right? From the, on that, you have defined one condition, right? right? Uh, you have defined one condition, order date of month should be less than today. That I have defined here. Now, I am going to the top tab. Here in the top tab, select by field. I want top 12 by here. What you have defined? Order date months, right? You defined a custom date, order date months and take it as maximum. Last, when you take top 12 by order date months maximum. When I click on apply. Now see here you are getting last 
12 months you are getting again to make it dynamic that means if you want to take consider it as last 10 months here in the top tab instead of this 12 just take last n months this parameter we already created right now i am taking this now see just take this last 12 n months here i am i am giving as last 20 now see from september 2021 to last 20 months if you want to see you are directly getting last 20 months this is using the filter shelf here we are not defining any calculation even in the filter shell what you are, what you brought into filter shell here this is the custom date that you define right directly on the custom date you are defining this last n month sales details now just bring your sales to the view just for the convenience just to show that i am taking this bar chart okay now this is Achieving last n months only using this filter shelf, no calculated fields. And the final way, the third way, third way to achieve this last n month sales is here. I am taking a new sheet. Here, what I am doing is we define this custom custom date, right? On this custom date, I am creating a set. Here, on this custom date, what we have defined, I am creating a set. See. You got all these values just use all now i'm keeping the name like this only order date of month set the condition is you know what is the condition order date months should be less than today now just go to top tab by field top 12 by order date months here you need to take maximum click on ok now bring this set to the view you will get in and out now let me show you show members in set now see i am taking sorry here we defined last n month last n months as 12 right here we have taken here sorry not here when you define your set, what you have done here in the top tab, you have taken last 12 months. Here, instead of this 12, I am taking last n months parameter what we have created. Now click on apply, click on OK. Now just show parameter. Now see, here I am entering last 5 months. Now see, here September, August, July, June, May. You are getting last 5 months sales if you want last 10 months just enter 10 months so these are the ways you can create last 10 months when you are considering today as your current month so there is another method when you are when you want to achieve last n months when you are dealing with your historical data there is another way so i'll make a separate video on that Okay guys, if you like my video, please share it with your friends and comment on this video. Thank you guys.